Hello and welcome to the physics topic Gravity and Earth, Lesson 1, Gravity. We are going to look at gravity, um, the effect it has and also the difference between weight and mass in this lesson. So you've got some images here, they're trying to show you the effects of gravity on an object. Um, we hope that you you know that gravity will act on those objects and on some more than others. So, for example, the basketball will fall back down to the ground, as will the child on the trampoline. The astronaut, however, is not fixed to the moon or the, well, in this case, it would be the moon that it's on. But gravity is there because that astronaut is not floating off into space. So you need to understand what gravity is, and we're going to run through that. Think of gravity as a force, and it's a force that attracts all masses. You can try and understand this or get a better understanding of it if you think of it between acting on the Earth and the Moon, being attracted by gravity, and that's what keeps the Moon in orbit around the Earth. Important to know that the larger uh, an object, the bigger the force, so the more mass of an object, the stronger the effect of gravity on that object. Also, distance plays a part. The closer the objects are together, the stronger the force of gravity. Think of gravity as a force of attraction, so the stronger it is attracting it to something else. Now, to understand gravity, you need to have a good understanding of mass and weight. And they are different and we get them confused. And sometimes we talk about weight when we should be talking about mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Um, it doesn't change whether you're on the moon or on Earth. The mass will stay the same. OK, now mass is not a force, but gravity is. It's important you remember that. Now, here's the key bit. Weight is the effect of gravity on an object. So an object's mass and weight can be different. And an object's weight will vary depending on which planet it is on. Now, some key bits because you need to know about the units. So mass is measured in grams or kilograms, usually, most commonly. Um, when we're saying we weigh ourselves, we are actually recording our mass. Um, because we would measure it using scales or a mass balance. You've got an image of one there. You would also be measuring mass when you're measuring our ingredients for cooking. And weight is measured in newtons, and that's a newton metre there. Um, quite an old one, but you will be able to hang something from it and you'll be able to measure um, the weight. Now, to calculate the weight, it's a very simple calculation and quite often you'll be given bits of this. It is a mass times gravitational field strength. Quite often you'll be given the gravitational field strength in an equation. So the units for that are commonly newtons, kilograms and newtons per kilogram. So you might need to do some conversions because you might have been given your mass in grams. OK, so weight equals mass times gravitational field strength, which means W equals M times G. Now, important to remember, gravitational field strength is the strength of gravity will vary on different planets. We are generally referring to it on Earth, unless the question is something diff about something different. And on Earth, this is about 9.81 newtons per kilogram. You might be given a different value. Sometimes they'll say it's 9, sometimes they'll say 9.8, sometimes they'll just round it up to 10. They will tell you, OK? So an example, what is the weight of an object on Earth that has a mass of 4.5 kilograms? Assume here that you're using 9.81. So you've got 4.5 multiplied by 9.81. Remember, like we always say, you are allowed your calculators when you are working out in science and any test you should have your calculator with you. So the weight of that object on Earth is 44.5. 145 newtons and we've rounded that to 44.15 newtons. Now what is the weight of the same object on Venus? So they give you the information there that Venus has a gravitational field strength of 8.8 .8 newtons per kilogram. You've already been given the mass of the object because you were told it was 4.5 so you're doing 4.5 multiplied by 8.8 .8. 
So the weight of that object on Venus is 39.6 newtons. Now there's quite a lot of information there. Here are some key points for you to look back on that you need to remember. Okay, gravity is what gives you weight, very important. Gravity is a force, mass is not. Units, weight is measured in units, mass is, mass is measured in kilograms or grams. The strength of gravity varies depending on the planet you are on. You can calculate your weight if you know the gravitational field strength because you can measure your mass. Many of us use the term weight when we're talking about mass, so be careful. And if you do the calculation, you should be given the gravitational field strength. But it's worth remembering that the Earth value is usually rounded to 10.